Welcome to the ADF Insider Essential Series, which demonstrates the essential skills, tips, tricks, and techniques that you will require while building ADF applications. In this demonstration, you will see how to set a default attribute value from a value found in a different entity object. So, what would we use this for? In our example, we are using an order with line items. Each one of the line items corresponds to a particular product. Each line item has a price, but each product also has a suggested price. Whenever we insert a new line item or change an existing line item, we want to have the item's price default value become the suggested price found in the product. Now let's look at the data model. We've got two entities that represent tables in the schema, an item entity and a product entity. Inside the item entity, we have a product ID to reference an ID of a product and an item price. Inside the product, we have the suggested wholesale price. We want to take the value found in the suggested wholesale price and use that as a default value inside the price. To accomplish this, we want to expose all the getter and setter methods, and then when a product ID is set, the default price should be set to the suggested wholesale price. To better understand the functionality, let's look at some data. We've opened up the Summit schema inside JDeveloper and are viewing it in the database navigator. There's a series of tables. One is the product. Inside the product table is a suggested wholesale price. We can actually view all the data coming from the table through the data tab. One of the items that we have here is item 10012 in ACE Ski Boot. And that ACE Ski Boot's suggested wholesale price is $200. Let's remember that item and price for later. Now let's look at the runtime behavior. Here we've got a page, and inside that page is some information about customers, their addresses, and orders. We've got a series of orders listed here, and as we select an order, we can go up to a tab and see the details of that order. In this particular order, we see that there are two line items. I can actually click a new button and go into the product ID and type in that 10012 item for the ACE ski boot. Notice how when I click on another item, the ski boot product name appears as well as the default price of $200 that we saw earlier. All of this area represents the items to be used in the orders. Okay, let's see how we do this in JDeveloper. Here we've got our Summit application and our model project. Inside the model project, we've got all of our entities. We need to expose the getters and setters for the product. To do that, we select the product, click on the Java tab, and in the far right-hand corner, click on the pencil icon. This allows us to generate the entity object class for that product exposing the accessors. When we do that, we end up with a file that allows us to access directly those getters and setter methods. Here we've got the suggested wholesale price, which we will use later. We also need to do this for the items. So we'll select the item, click on the Java tab, go to the pencil icon, and also check the checkbox to create the entity object class for the item impl. Once we've exposed the item accessors, we can then go down and work on the product ID such that when the product ID is set, some other things happen. So here's where we want to insert our code. So we've got the set product ID. And what we want to do is have some other things happen when we set the product ID. 
So the first thing that we want to do is get a particular instance of the product in terms of all the components. We're going to call that product info. And it's going to be equivalent to an instance of the product EO. Once we have an instance of the product EO, we then want to go ahead and set the price inside the item to be that product info get the suggested wholesale price. Close everything up and we're ready to go. It's just that simple. In summary, we've exposed accessor methods in two entity objects, extended the set method for one attribute, and then added code to set the default value in one entity attribute to the value found in a different entity attribute. To learn more, go to oracle.com forward slash technology forward slash jdev, where you can find downloads, tutorials, discussion forums, samples, the ADF Developer's Guide, and much, much more. Thank you very much.